Example 4. Change intercepts of lines. Change intercepts of lines. Televisions. A company produced two 30-second commercials, one for $300,000 and the second for $400,000. Each airing of either commercial on a particular station costs $150,000. The cost C in thousands of dollars to produce the first commercial and air it in times is given by C is equal to 150 times N plus 300. The cost to produce the second and air it in times is given by C is equal to 150 times N plus 400. A. Graph both equations in the same coordinate plane. B. Based on the graphs, what is the difference of the cost to produce each commercial and air it two times or four times? What do you notice about the differences of the cost? Solution A. The graphs of the equations are shown. B. You can see that the vertical distance between the lines is $100,000 when n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. The differences of the cost is $100,000 no matter how many times the commercials are aired. Okay, now notice the first thing they graph was the y-intercept. The y-intercept here The y-intercept here is 300. So notice how it's graphed at 300. 200, notice that break in the graph. And then it goes 200, 300, 400. So right there, that's that y-intercept. And then here, they graph the y-intercept being at 400. So that's that. Okay, now that you know how they determine the y-intercepts of 300 and 400, now we're going to show you how they graph. Now this graphing this is a little tricky, but uh, but you can do it and you can understand it. All right. Now notice that the slope is 150. Now remember that's 150 over one, and the slope is the same for both equations. 150 over one. All right. Now remember here we said that we're counting by 100, so that's 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, etc. That means halfway is 50. All right, so now when I count my slope, it's the rise over the run. So I'm going to start right here on this line right here. Now watch how I count my slope. That's 100. 150 is about right there. So that's the rise. Now the run, I'm going to go over 1. See where I'm at right there? Now, I got to go up again. So my rise is 150. So from here... To here, that's one. That's like one hundred uh, thousand. So now, but it's but the slope is one hundred and fifty. So means I got to go up another fifty. I'm right there, and then go over one. I'm right there. So that's how that slope is being counted. So once again, the rise is one fifty. That's a hundred. That's one fifty. The run is one, I'm right there. From here to here, that's one. That's one hundred thousand. So, but my slope is 150,000, so, or 150, so I go up one more, okay, and then I go over one unit, all right, so that's how the slope is being counted. So, I'm going to try to put it with the pen so you can see it, all right, it's not cooperating, hold on, let me pause, okay, here we go, let's try it again, ready? So, my y-intercept is 200, and my slope is 150 over 1. My y-intercept is 200 and my slope is 150 over 1. So, alright, from here to here is 100 and from there to there is 50. So that's 150. I go over 1. From here to here is 100. I go up 50 more. So now I'm at 150. 1. Okay, so once again, rise, run, rise, run. 150, 1, 150, 
1. And of course, you would do the same thing when you start here. All right, same slope. Okay, so that finished examples 4. Okay, parallel lines. Two lines in the same plane are parallel if they do not intersect because slopes gives the rate at which a line rises or falls two non-vertical lines with the same slope are parallel so once again two non-vertical lines with the same slope are parallel example five identify parallel lines determine which of the lines are parallel find the slope of each line okay now here, to find the slope of line A, they use the slope formula. M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Now, it doesn't matter which points you label X1, X2. Excuse me, X1, Y1. You can label here X1, Y1, and then here will be Y2, excuse me, X2, Y2. Once again, X1, Y1 x2 y2 or you can say x1 y1 x2 y2 order does not matter as long as you do your math correct and you will do the same for each one of these now remember you can pick any two points as long as they fall on a crosshair now the other technique to use to find the slope is to simply count it see how to, for line a the slope is one third rise is one that's one and the run is one two three so one over three let's look at line B line B between this point and this point okay the rise is one two and the run is one two three four five so two over five for the uh, for line C the right between this point and this point the rise is one two all right once again the rise is one two and the run is one two three four five six so you end up with two over six if you take two over six and you reduce it you come out with one third once again one two one two three four five six so by now you should know how to find the slope using both methods the equation and counting the one that always works is the equation and the main thing about this lesson is the lines that are the lines that have the same slope those two lines are parallel that is they will never ever meet so the blue line a and line C they will never meet you can see here that line B eventually is going to meet with line C so the line continues out that way eventually they're going to cross but line A and line C will never meet and you know that for sure because both their slopes are the same